Hey everyone, happy Wednesday and a uh, belated Merry Christmas to all of you guys. I am trying to keep up on my, on my once a week post like I said in my last video. And we're up here in Vacaville, California with my beautiful wife and her family. She's right over here, Rebecca, say hi. So there's actually a really nice creek behind the house and a really nice path for people to walk their dogs and stuff and bike through. That's where we're shooting our video today. So, uh, so Christmas was really awesome. Um, had a great time with our family. And I know Christmas isn't about presents, but I did get a lot of awesome presents this year. Um, a lot of stuff for my, for my camera, a lot of video and photo stuff. And I really, I'm really excited to share that stuff with you guys. And actually today, um, what this video is about and what I really want, I'm, I'm excited to share with you guys and test out is um, this, th this cool thing right here, this stabilizer, $65 Sudafoto kind of like glide cam, steady cam type stabilizer. And this is actually my first stabilizer. I've never even tested one out. And it took me a long time to balance it. And I'm not even sure that I actually balanced it perfectly yet. I probably didn't. I just want to test it out by shooting a sequence. Um, the same sequence, one time handheld, and then the next time with this stabilizer. And I'm not going to use any slow motion. I'm going to shoot the whole thing in 24 frames per second. Again, I'm not sure if I um, balanced it perfectly or not so and there's a good chance that this, the footage won't turn out well because this is the first time I'm really using it I'm not good with it yet but I just want to do an initial test and so here we go Alright guys, so there's the same sequence shot in two different ways. Uh, the first one was handheld and I had the e-stabilization turned on in the camera and also the stabilization turned on for the lens. Um, and for the second sequence, I was shooting that with a pseudophoto stabilizer right here. Um, two things you'll notice right away, I guess, is that it's probably not perfectly balanced and <laughs> I'm not very good using it yet. I just still need um, lots of practice, but I guess if it is, the footage doesn't look good. At least I look kind of cool using this and I look like a pro, I guess. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Please leave in the comments below some of your tips for how to use the stabilizer like this so that I can learn from you guys. And also leave below which sequence you thought uh, looked better and more stabilized. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.